Welcome back. It's time for our July 2022 aerial tour update at Talon Preserve on Palmer Ranch. There's been a lot of work on the grounds of the Amenity Center, and this footage was shot on Sunday, late afternoon, July 24th, 2022, just before our daily thunderstorm rolled in. Feel free to skip around to the chapter marks you'll find in the description below. We'll start off again with Mossy Pine Court. Four of the six four-unit villa buildings are closed, with the fifth complete and closing soon if it hasn't already. The final building on the left is moving rapidly to completion as well. If this progresses well, it could see all of Mossy Pine done soon. Switching directions, we'll head northwest up Crested Eagle Lane and into the late afternoon sun. A couple more homes have closed here, and only one remains under construction. That one is there on the right, by the last dumpster here. With its drywall just installed and the roof tiles not yet fully laid, this home is likely more than a month or more from completion. So while Crested Eagle may become the first full street to be complete, that last villa building on Mossy Pine might well beat it. Reaching the end of Crested Eagle and its intersection with Talent Preserve Drive, we'll turn and head toward the main circle intersection and the amenity center. Notice the water in the central preserve ahead. We are definitely in the rainy season. Heading into the amenity center site, we see all of the new work on the grounds around the clubhouse and pool. In front, you can see they've installed pavers in the driveway up to the front door and put in some paver sidewalks. Passing over the clubhouse, you can see it has most of its metal roof covering. They've laid in a lot of irrigation lines and added trees, especially palm trees. Many placed in what will be landscaping islands around the pool. We'll turn around and pass in from the back side of the site, giving you a better view of the sports courts on the left and the pool area in the center. At the pool, you can see the forms up for the waterfall wall. As we pass over the clubhouse again, you see all that metal roofing that has been placed, at least on this side. Pulling away from the site, we'll turn around again, get up higher and do an orbit around the whole site. We are centering our orbit on the bathhouse this time in hopes of getting a better look at the sports courts. First, we note one set of pickleball courts that have a layer of white primer over the smooth asphalt. And then a second set of pickleball courts with just the asphalt layer, no primer. Both sets also have completed fences and light posts. That brings us to the bocce ball courts, just waiting for deck area around them to be done. In the distance, we see the tennis courts now have their hard true hydro blend clay-like surface on. Moving into the pool area, we can make out the spa and then the splash pad. Then we get a good look at the waterfall wall, for which gunite was actually poured and formed just days before this was posted. Finally, there's the beach entry area of the pool. In the pool area, they've also done the work on the decorative tile on the edges of the pool. As we head around front, you can see the paper walkways again. And more palm trees. Swinging further around front of the clubhouse, we are now ready to climb up to about 290 feet for our signature top-down overhead view. We'll start off with the tennis courts and then the pickleball courts again. We'll move across the bocce ball courts into the pool area. We come first to the splash pad and then the forms for the waterfall wall again. Passing over the pool and its beach entry area, we then pass above the clubhouse and get another look at all of the partial metal roofing. So, things out at the amenity center seem to be shaping up nicely. Leaving the amenity center site, we'll continue southwest for a long overdue flight down Hidden Sawgrass Path, the new road situated behind the amenity center and branched off of Talon Preserve Drive. All of the lots on this street are the largest 76-foot-wide premier lots. 
and work has already started on at least two lots out here, including lot 169 up ahead there. With that, we'll head up the south and central sections of Eagle Branch Drive. Since the four homes on the south end have long been closed, we'll head right to the main circle intersection and the central section of Eagle Branch. As before, this section only has two homes left under construction, and we can identify them by dumpsters. That was the first one. And up ahead is the second dumpster. Just like that, we're at Grand Talon Lane on the right. Three lots are underway here with two having their block walls. And that one there now has roof trusses and plywood roofing up just after this was filmed. Heading further north on Eagle Branch, work continues on a number of lots. First, we see lot 590 ahead on the right, and then Further ahead on the left, we come to lot 852. As we saw last month, ahead on the right across from the future dog park are the tandem of lots 599 and 600. Beyond those lots, we come upon the new road, Fish Eagle Court, on the right. And then we're upon the new set of villa buildings, where we have a different home to call out this time. There's lot 650 on the right. And of course, that brings us out to the construction entrance onto Honoré Avenue you can see the new metal fence connecting to the gate. The gate is operating and is open during working hours, but closed other times, mostly. As we did last month, we've zoomed out to the intersection of Honoré and Route 681. The structure for the new sign here now has more meat to it and rounded corners up top. We're continuing south again, over the villa buildings, and back to Fish Eagle Court. While portions of it have flooded with the recent heavy rain, you can make out the finished asphalt here, as well as all of the infrastructure pipes and lines poking up at each future lot. If you are looking for a scenic series, 42 foot wide lot, to have your own detached villa home, this is the street to look at next. We'll zip forward and turn at the circle end of Winding Pine Drive and head east to west. Not the smoothest turn there, but hey. While there have been rumors of a shortage of roof tile, which the lack of tiled roofs here seems to bear out, work is starting to pick up again out here. During workday hours, it is hard to drive down this street. And this is where we have the most lots to call out for our viewers. First on the right, we come to lot 574, which now has block walls. And then we see lot 579. Beyond that, we come to lots 583 and 584 on the right. Anybody on the left want to call out? Let me know. Nearing the intersection of Winding Pine with Eagle Branch, we should note that we know that at least two homes have finally closed on Winding Pine. At the intersection, we see lot 851 on the right.
Further down the street, we see lot 845, which is listed as a quick move-in home on DeVosta's site. Curiously, while the exterior is completely done, there is no drywall up inside. Waiting on a buyer, maybe? Next, we'll turn around and head down Little Eagle Loop going south. And there's lot 511 on the right. We'll head next into the newest phase out in the west, but we'll do a panoramic view instead of heading down empty streets. In the distance ahead is the entrance onto Route 681 with its gate started and a new sign underway. Panning to the left, we see a set of mailboxes for the area now in along Misty Pond Loop. They put up street signs at all these intersections and that short road will be Golden Grass Terrace. As we continue panning along Talon Preserve Drive, we see the first lots started out in this phase, starting with lot 188 there. We'll move straight in here, noting lot 188 again. And there's lot 358 to the left on Bald Cypress Way. Next, we see lot 182 on Talon Preserve Drive, and across from it is lot 361. Continuing on, we make our way back east into phase one along Talon Preserve Drive. One more home is closed in the past month on this stretch of Talon Preserve Drive. And now at the end of July, by our unofficial count, which gets more and more difficult to track, there are now 115 to 120 homes closed across the entire community. Whoa, here comes that thunderstorm. Counting dumpsters, we see that two homes remain under construction on this street, but both are getting very close to complete. There's the first dumpster. There are the tennis courts on the right. And there's the second dumpster. And that brings us finally to the clubhouse. We'll continue east a bit more to the main gate area with its distinctive guard tower. Once again, that will bring this aerial tour to an end. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. But wait, there's just one more thing. It's getting late now and here comes that thunderstorm. I I think I better land now. <laughs>